familiar faces, record setters, all here tonight at the finals for the Widowmaker Tournament. Hey everybody, I'm Brendan and we'll see some old faces here as we head all the way back through the best of each of our eight days to send them out today. You see the Faradox there, remember them from a while ago, maybe video three it might have been, NASCAR 8 and 43, Mustang in there. I think all the way back from video one. So we are all over the place here. Should be wonderful here. 43 is gonna take this first one as the Faradox drops back a place. Oh. 9.9 .9 on the clock. Remember, our record is 9.57. If you go to the comments, some guy's been posting the top five, so you'll get to see if anything changes over the course of this finals. But if anything's gonna happen, it's gonna happen in this finals. This could be a time to break some records. Let's let's uh let's see how it rolls out. Into heat two. And we do have the 43 starting very strong here. But a lot of chances for other cars to take over. The NASCAR 8 really nudging on the 43, giving him some momentum, actually, trying to push out in front. See, this is a strategy. Get out in front with the NASCAR 8, trying to make space so that he's front of that other lane and switch over. Faradox does manage to get by. He spins. Faradox pushes through the 43. Oh, and the 43's left to last place on that 10-2 on the clock. That's that's higher level racing to have the momentum and strength to push through another vehicle Usually you knock into them and all hell breaks loose But look at this pushes right through nudge nudge push and the 43 loses everything in one straight shot Five and one the 43 still in it a lot of room to race here But the 43 is gonna work from the rear spots now so not gonna be as easy to make things happen 43 should have capitalized when he had the chance. Faradox now looking for another five here to put this out of reach and ensure himself a spot to advance. Mustang on the far side there working with it, but driving a little slow right now. Shove back the eight on the first hairpin. Let's see the Faradox. Come to this hairpin here out by many lengths. 43 trying to get back in there looking for a first place. He's playing for second. He's almost got first, but down to third as he went the wrong way. 9.9 .9 is the NASCAR 8 finds their first win of the day. I mean, this back straight play has been very complex. Faradox got stuck in there, a little sandwich action. Speed was off, and now we're all over the place. Heat four. Two are going to advance here. I couldn't tell you which two. We have 10 for the Faradox, 11 for the NASCAR 8, and the NASCAR 43 is still in there with 8. So actually a chance that he can get out in front of the Faradox here. Let's see, he needs a first place here. Almost jumps off the track there. Did you see that? He's right behind the 8. Here's the jump. They both have a tough jump. 8 is a little bit in front and trying to hold on. He's nudged, nudged. But the Faradox can't stay in line with the 43, and they're going to tie. Look at this time on the clock, 9-9 nine, nine again, and we have to go to a tiebreaker. NASCAR 8 paid his dues, very strong race set, and he's going to stay in there. But what about this tiebreaker? It's the 43, it's the Faradox. Far side lanes. Holding in there the 43. Around that inside turn, and it looks like the 43 has a big lead right now, but the Faradox is going to have an inside line in this next hairpin. Maybe he'll come back a little bit. It's not that close. 43 almost spins out. Faradox has a lane in the near side. Can he find it? No. They snap back together, and with a 9.9, .9, you're going to have the advancement of the 43. Well done. He'll come across there. Not the greatest time. Still no records yet. Well, he's not going to advance yet. He's got to win the two out of three. They have set this in a kind of a new rule race in front. We didn't used to do this here. Sometimes they get a little mixed up. But yeah, we do have best two out of three for the tiebreaker situation, which I believe is fair. But the Faradox again falling back here. The 43 holding on. He spins out, but he's going to stay in front. He's going to stay in front. 9.9 .9 on the clock. He could have actually gotten down to 9.6, I'd say, if he didn't have the spin out and stayed clean, but could not stay clean. Sixteen and eleven. Their NASCAR is going to advance with the tiebreaker win. Faradox is going to have to go home. 
Heat 1 of this next group. We have Corvette Mustang Speed Bump and NASCAR 5. Remember that Speed Bump was a problem in the race he had. It's the NASCAR 5, though, who was generally, I believe, generally slow in his heat until the end where he just burned up a new record, I believe. That is the vehicle in question here. Let's see if we can keep it up. NASCAR 5 looking pretty fast right now. Pretty clean jump. Got a little bit off to the side. Speed bump dropping back to second. Nudge forward across. We're at 9.8. We're slowly cutting that time down. There's not a lot of time for breaking records. I want to see it. I want to see it. I mean, I mean, I get out here at the start, and I make a claim. Like, there's easily going to be a sub 9.5, and we just can't get there. Like, my predictions on that have been faulty lately. I have to be a little more conservative with them in the future, maybe. But I still have hope. It has to be a fast, all-around race with no mistakes. It's about that jump. You can save a couple tenths by having a clean jump and landing. Let's see if the NASCAR 5 can do it here. Way out in front. Gets a nudge there from the speed bump to keep momentum. Around, and the speed bump still behind him with some nudge. Nice clean jump. He's shot forward. Momentum. This might win the new record, and it does not. So very close. 9-7. 9-7. Even with, I mean, he jumped forward quite a bit there. Mustang's going to lay on his back there and get nothing. Look at the snap forward. He really shot him forward a whole length, but still wasn't enough to pick up a record. 9-7 is good enough probably for one of those top five times, though. We'll see what the comments say later. In the heat three, things will start to get serious now, especially for our gray Mustang who needs a first place here, needs to reinstate himself. He wants a chance to move on and see if he can do it. NASCAR five, pretty strong right now with two first places. All he needs to do is stay in his lane and not do anything too stupid, and he will advance. Gray Mustang looking for a first place. Around that outside line. Oh, got the yellow Mustang in there. And a good nose block into a bad roadblock spin. And the Mustang's going to win. He's back in it. 9-9 nine, nine on the clock. And a Corvette, sorry, the one who had all the nonsense, is going to drop back and probably put himself right out. He went for a dangerous move there, trying to lock in the win by making a, a defensive play like that. But maybe not the right time. Should have stayed fast and straight. Now we got three threes from the speed bump. That's nine. Mustang with seven. And what about our NASCAR 5 with 11? We're all over the place. So the Mustang still in it. Corvette's out. Corvette, well, not necessarily, but pretty pretty much out. We do need some crazy scenarios. Mustang needs to win, though. Look, not looking good. Speed bump is so fast. This could do it. New record capabilities way out in front. Our time is 9.50. New record on the clock, but still no sub 9.5. And that 5.7, which was used to be 9.57, was now shoved to decimals 3 and 4. 9.5057. Is our new record, and our person in the comments with that will have a day. Look at how see, it was the speed. You could tell he was going to set something new. The speed out of that last jump was so clean. Our gray Mustang on his back, and our NASCAR 5 and speed bumper advancing. Into the finals we go. Point five, point oh, oh, five, eight away from going sub 9.5. 0.0058 away, and we will be sub 9.5. Let's see if we can do it. Speed bump on the far side there. Working pretty fast, though. Rattle a little bit into in the lane. It's going to drop back a little bit here. It's going to be a struggle to get out of there strong, especially with that inside line. Here comes the 43. Looking fast spins. Blocks a speed bump. Speed bump nudges by nice and clean, but not clean enough for anything too crazy. 9.7 is a good place to start. We have three NASCARs in the speed bump vehicle. So... Honestly, it's a NASCAR-dominated tournament other than this kind of outlier who just set the world record on this track. I'm going to cross with a good time. And I think our speed bump's going to get the other front lane, so the last chance probably, probably, likely, for this one to set a record. Speed bump, best record on the course in the world let's see if he can do something nice in this one starting out a little bit slow though not the best jump out of the gate maybe the 43 can help with some momentum down the track they go up by a little bit gonna lose some length here against the nascar five he's nice and fast and clean let's see how the speed bump goes not a great drop he spins it's out and the five maybe can stay fast there 
He does for a 9-6. A 9-6. That's not enough, but that is still an impressive time. We'll get on that top five as long as that guy keeps up with the chat there. I mean, we, we appreciate him. It's really NASCAR 8 who's been very lackluster here. Kind of went crazy in that first uh, set of heats, but nothing so far in this one. He's going to get some front time, though. Our second fastest car, the NASCAR 5. One more chance to break the record. Can he do it? I mean, you can do it from the rear, but it's just very unlikely. I just say it's very, very unlikely. Here we go. And on the outside line, here comes the 5. Is he going to have a chance here? The 8 is very fast. He is streaking to the end. He's bouncing a little bit, but our time is 9-6 again. Whew. They are getting so close to putting that away, just not quite there. Last heat coming up here. We need to see our numbers. NASCAR 43 with 7. 7 for the 8 as well. What else do we have? as we pan to our scoreboard here. Well, we have nine from the five and nine from the speed bump. So it's seven, seven, nine, nine. So the winner here is either gonna have to do some sort of tiebreaker or completely just take the corner right here. Let's see what happens. Here comes the eight, down on the far side, looking to stay fast here, rattled a little bit. Let's see what the jump looks like. Is it gonna be clean? It was not very clean, but he straightens out. He stays fast. It's gonna be some sort of tiebreaker, but the 43 does keep both of them back. That should do it. Nine, nine. So we won't go below sub 9.5. We got very close. But because the 43 did a whole full block, the nine pointers couldn't get in there to tie it up. And our NASCAR 8's going to actually come back and win. What a wonderful performance from this wild vehicle. That will do it for the Widowmaker Tournament. A very fun one. We'll see you next time for the new stuff, Races and Fun, got to offer.